If there is one thing to know about the Tony Award winning, Grammy nominated songstress Ms. Melba Moore, she was born to be a star. Mm. She was a good baby there. I know, and, and she well, still does. Well, she's continuing her own success as a cultural icon. She's also paving the way for those who plan to follow in her footsteps. Without further ado, gracing the New York Living Studio right next to me this morning mm -hmm. is the five octave Billboard charting <laughs> musical sensation, the marvelous Melba Moore. Good morning. Welcome Thank to you so Thank much you. for being what here. Intro. Thanks for yes, having me. Well, oh, Thank we're you. so happy. We're so excited. Yeah, um, and we were just chit chatting off camera, but Harlem born. Mm -hmm. Yep. Grew up, split your time between the city and Jersey. Yes. So, how, in what way, if at, an, at all, did that upbringing in this area inspire and have influence oh, on your music? Are you kidding? Music? New York? Mm -hmm. I never forgot it. Uh, I, I couldn't wait to get back here, and uh, Newark was where I then had a family because I, my mother was a single parent, mm -hmm. but she married a musician from Newark, New Jersey, and he had a son and a daughter, so I, the family is the first community that you're in, so That's right. Newark um, gave me family, gave me, I went to Arts High, oh my gosh. so uh, my, my parents, my, my father was a piano player and a singer. Oh, my okay, stepfather so it's in the was family. A, my, excuse it's me, in my, father, my father is Teddy Hill. You can Google him. Uh -huh. He's right. a big band leader. Right. But my stepfather, who raised me, was a piano player and a singer. Married my mother. They mm -hmm. were. She was a singer, and so music was in the house all the time. Now, do you have a specific influence that you early on though that you felt you were? My mother. Your mother. Really, that's the best. If I could show you a picture of her, wow. I, do you know how people treat people who are beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> you, mm -hmm. you know how kids take that in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, she's the first real huge influence I think I had. That's it's fantastic. It's still there. So speaking of inf influence, uh, Sherry Lee Ralph, the Emmy oh, Award yes. winner for her role in uh, <laughs> Abbott Elementary, she recently was talking uh, to the LA Times, and she mentioned you saying she used to daydream in her school's uh, orchestra class about being you. Really? become Melba Moore. What does that make you feel like when you're somebody like that? Well, I I've been friends with Cheryl Lee Ralph for, for years, and oh, I've gosh. been an, an admirer of hers, because I know her as a woman of beauty, talent, mm -hmm. integrity. Um, she's a c concert producer. She's a director. Mm -hmm. She's a mother. She's married to um, a, a senator. Uh, she could be the next president of the United States, That's Cheryl Lee Ralph. Yeah, That's what knows. I know about her, not what I think about her. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big words to say. Oh, my goodness. So but you have a new album coming true. out, by the way. Yes. yes. Okay. It's called oh, Imagine. Which I love, but just the name itself. It is beautiful. Uh, all of the songs were brought to me by my daughter over a period of time. And so she said, Mom, what are we going to do with this? I said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I, made, I put her in charge of it, and she's got started it. Um, a record company, so I'm her first artist. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually uh, setting an example, I hope, and passing the baton on to her through this new No better way to to lead and inspire than by just doing what you do and yes. doing it in an amazing way that you do. And you just received two presidential awards. I right, mean. It, was, it was the Joseph R. Biden Award and then the one actually Volunteer Service Award, which yes. probably in some cases might have even meant more to you. But what, how, did, how does that it's, make you feel to be recognized? It's like so that? extremely important because volunteer is something that people are watching you. You're not being just do this because this, this is what your heart mm -hmm. is for you to yeah. do. I am so appreciative and thankful and grateful that President Biden gave me the Lifetime Achievement and Volunteer Award because it means. I'm a good citizen. Yeah. You know? yeah. And somebody else thinks so. You know, right. you, you you don't do this for yourself and for people right. to put you on the map that way. Mm -hmm. right. it's, it's just so. I'm honored. Yeah. And it sets a great wonderful. example for right. young people, obviously, to yes. follow along. Yes. In the family business, I know your daughter's here and right. she must be yeah, so I, proud I of you. I want her to be a good citizen, too. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I, I mean, sure, if she's sure she watching her is. mama, then. No questions about Thank that. You. And just to top it all off, because yeah. you don't have just the most iconic life as it is, uh, you are about to get your name on the Hollywood on a star. Okay, on I'm so excited about that. It makes me want to scream. <laughs> Go for it. Whoa. Did I break, did I break, break the, the camera? Glass in yes. Here. No, 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 no. No glass in this one. But what took so long? I mean, yes, I can't believe. Wrong. I thought you were there already. Never in my dreams really? could I have a, a thought of anything so incredible. Wow. I, who, who thinks they're going to be on the on, on, on the, on the, uh, the, the sidewalk forever? True. I, I don't mean you know down and out. But. Yeah, that's that's, <laughs> that's a different that's a different version. So we like this one better. About that. that is just it's, it's it's not a dream come true. I never thought of anything like that. Oh, could happen for me. Well, congratulations, and that's awesome. It's now, incredible, and. Yeah, That's, that doesn't stop there. Yeah, because now you no. have new music going on, right? Yeah. And, but you're talking, you talk about today's music, you feel like a lot of it is missing love. 
So explain I that a little. I don't feel like that. No? No. Okay. I mean, it may have been missing my love. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, but not only that, she's heading to D.C. to yes. star in the play Roll On. Tell us about that. Well, that's a gospel musical. Uh, I haven't been doing any theater lately. I've been doing primarily concerts. And so I'm really happy to get back to, to that because it's the theater. But mm. the most fun about gospel musicals is the gospel music. Exactly. They're great singing. Oh you my know? Gosh. And of course, the stories are always very, very mm -hmm. inspiring. So I'm, I'm excited to get back to do some theater. Oh so, gosh. I mean, at this point in your life, you're approaching another birthday. I'm not going to mention which one. Because uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Again. She just keeps going. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, you know, to that, did you ever think at this point in your life you would still be as active and as busy in what you're doing and entrenched? No, because you have no examples. Uh, somebody's always telling you how good you look for your age mm -hmm. when, when you're like 30, you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so you don't expect to have a long life and career. And especially, if it, like in show business, I think, you know, about a long life, not just a, as an entertainer. So, um, but you keep struggling, yeah. you, keep, you keep rejoicing, you keep trying to get back up. And I think it, it helps not only build your life, but extend it. Sure. Oh, that well, is the so true. The resilience of your life and, and your story is amazing. Have you written I, a book yet? I, no, but I'm good at getting up. Oh, you sure are. Right. It's Excuse all about me, getting back up. Getting back <laughs> up. Hey, it's all about overcoming adversity again and again, yeah, as much yeah. as it takes. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, what advice, because you've, you've just lived such a beautiful and full life, and you've really done it all. So what advice do you have for any young artist possibly looking to get into the world of entertainment? Uh, well, get up and get some experience. Mm -hmm. Go study what it is you want to do. Um, <clears throat> don't worry about making money, by the way. Mm -hmm. But learn what a budget is and how to get in control of your your money and that you you, you have to know you have to create a budget for yourself mm -hmm. you have to realize you have to have a roof over your head and all that stuff right. and don't wait to get a manager to do that do that first right. <laughs> oh my gosh stars are just like us she's a superstar and she's talking about how to live a practical life right incredible that's a better way to say it a practical, a practical life. life yes Oh my goodness. Ms. Melba Moore, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good luck. Do you want me to sing for you now? Yes. <laughs> no. Okay. Please sing <laughs> us out. Is it too early? Uh, no. No. You can sing. Listen, no, it's not too early. Do you hear it? You, you can sing what's Please in the prompter. Sing for us. No, if you have a song. <laughs> Don't forget to purchase your ticket to oh, 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 oh. If I had I a mic, it. I would drop it right there now. There you go. Of course, starring the marvelous Melba Moore. You heard it right here, folks. The show kicks off October 9th, and it goes through the 30th at the at the, the Arc Theater. I think I pronounced that correctly in Washington D.C. Uh, and be sure to stream her new album. Imagine it's a whole family affair. Thank you so so much, Miss Melba Moore. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks again. What a pleasure. Oh my goodness.